Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play Mega Man X4 for the PlayStation this time. Ah, see, we jumped ship. We are no longer on the Super Nintendo. Now we have jumped onto the PlayStation. So this should be fun. Uh, personal note, Mega Man X4 was one of my first Mega Man X games. It was when I first was introduced to Mega Man X and I was completely mind blown. So this has a special place for me, even though... It's not as difficult as some of the other ones, at least I don't recall it being difficult. It's been forever since I've seen it, and I'm kind of excited particularly to be playing this one, because even though I played the, all the old ones, this one definitely has some special feeling for me. Uh, number two that I want to mention, there are two playable characters in this game. My first run-through will be with Mega Man X. My second run-through will be with Zero. So, that being said... It's going to be quite a bit before you actually see me start running around as Zero and doing all sorts of cool stuff with Zero. So first up, it will definitely be Mega Man. So let's boot up this sucker and let the show begin. Oh man. Brings back memories, don't it? Sony Computer Entertainment. Yeah, you know that's bringing back memories. Don't, e don't even, unless you're, you're too young to remember the PlayStation 1. But that's how, that's what we had to wait through first. Oh, and then we got our little Capcom intro there. That's always nice, always nice to see that. Alright, oh, that's right, we get videos now! So I'm gonna shut up and let you enjoy it now. Who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna be talking throughout this. Hello, X! Pew! The zeros running and slashing and the giant R and what looks like a military commander to the rest of you. That's the general. He's in charge of Repli Force. That's double. He's kind of a klutz, as you can see. And that's Iris, which you will find out uh, plays a pretty significant role later on. And there was the Colonel, her older brother. And the Colonel and Zero seem to be fighting. Ooh, very interesting. There goes X, pew 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 again, and charging up his pew pews. And then laying out a big... <laughs> and then we'll stare at Iris. 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 We get it! We're looking at her Iris! And then Zero... And there's Colonel, and everybody's happy now. And Double's got that goofy smile on his face. And General's just all like, hmm. And then X and Zero standing epically, and then introduce the whole cast. And oh, look, a cloaked figure in the background. Hmm. Bam! Gotcha! We're playing Mega Man X4. Got it. Alright, so let's start this bad boy up. So when you hit game start, you're going to find yourself with the player select screen. Who do you want to play at? You want to play Mega Man? We'll play a Zero. I'll pick Mega Man. I said I was going to pick Mega Man first. And then we'll do a run through of X. So let's listen in on the story from Mega Man. It's about the Maverick Hunters, General. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the Reploids. Do you believe they pose a significant threat? Perhaps. You already know the truth, General. Their sole mission has been to destroy any Reploids who fail to do as the humans order. It's in your best interest to stop them now before they turn on you. You possess enough power to destroy them! What? I will not guess that was not the answer you wanted. Remove yourself from my sight. My business with you has concluded. <laughs> Very well. But you oh, will gee, I wonder who that is. Soon, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What the heck was that? Like I, he slid back across the screen looking at you like <laughs> All right. So here's X standing at the command center. Under HQ, Mavericks have been found at point 5567. The Mavericks occupied the Sky Lagoon using the most advanced 
weapons available. The army appears to be the Repli Force. Roger that. I'm on my way now. All right. X rushing to Sky Lagoon Area One. So the controls are pretty much the same as they've always been, except now that there's two extra shoulder buttons, and that's gonna play the, uh, an important role. Oh, I got an extra life already! Oh man, the game's happy for me to play it again. Nice. Already got an extra life. What's up? All right. This is totally optional. You can totally fight him. You. You squashed me! You don't have to fight him, I always like to. Bam! Come on, come at me, bro! Come on, let's go! Let's go! What you gonna do? What you gonna- Oh! No! And he's taken care of, we don't have to worry about him anymore. I'm okay, gonna keep pushing forward. So as you can see, the game's made a nice little jump in terms of graphics compared to the Super Nintendo. This is very nice to look at. Uh, another controller change that I should probably mention is that now, what was, I guess, uh, the X button on the Super Nintendo, triangle on the PlayStation controller, allows me to also shoot. So, once I have a weapon, oop, ow, <laughs> it's like nothing happened. Once I have, uh, specific weapons, I can have the weapon equipped, but still be able to shoot the regular shots. Uh-oh, things are blowing up. Who's that? You're a Dragoon from the 14th unit! This isn't good, X. Oh, I skipped the tech, that's right. That Maverick just destroyed the power reactor. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will... come crashing into the ground! It's too late, X. It's time I made my escape. I suggest you do the same. Don't do anything reckless on the way out, okay? Oh, he doesn't have a cool teleporting day. He just jumps up into the air. The city below will soon become a sea of flames. Many people will perish. I have no choice but to escape from here and head to the city below. So we'll teleport out, in other words. X rushing to Sky Lagoon 2. And now we have a guy telling us ready. It's always nice. What? The city has been completely destroyed. They were innocent people. I won't forget this. A bunch of innocent people just died because guy dropped an entire, I guess, lagoon or city or something on me. So, let's proceed onward. Onward we go. As things try to kill us on the beginning level. The music's super epic. Little bees! Why are there bees? We seem to be doing pretty good so far. Then again, this is the intro, oh god. Let me not say anything about intro levels, because I might die. And then that'll be sad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mr. Claw! Oh, I got shot! More bees! Sounds like a weird name. Pew, pew, pew! The animations are all nice and cool. Oh, God! Oh, yeah, that's right. There's this. And another extra life. Yeah! Let's get out of here, and we'll dash. WARNING! Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, that's right, I can charge up during the silly little intro animations. Oh, I guess he didn't appreciate that. Ow. I'm guessing he's not appreciating my, uh, shooting him with giant energies. My pew pew is stronger than yours! Nope! Oh, your shin doesn't hurt you! I have to shoot you in the face! Oh! Should have expected that. BAM! So, whatever you were, whether you were a claw dragon or whatever the heck, you are now dead! And I can still charge up energy. Oh. And here he comes. Who are you? I'm the Colonel of the Repli Force. Has the Repli Force been occupying this area? What are you talking about? I only came to save my sister. The army responsible for all the violence in this region is not the Repli Force. Nevertheless, I want you to disarm and follow me back to the HQ. Never! 
You're asking my soldiers to drop their weapons? The only time we drop our weapons is when we aren't able to fight any longer. But you will be regarded a maverick and treated as such. That's not a nice way of saying that, Mega Man. Do as you will. The Repliforce would sooner fight and die than discard our pride. Consider us mavericks if this is what you wish. Wait! Calm down, Colonel! Well, actually, you didn't handle that in the best of ways, so... What the... Something's got to give, otherwise the entire Repliforce will be considered to be mavericks. <laughs> that bad looping. Ooh, we can... WE CAN SAVE NOW! NO MORE PASSWORD SYSTEMS! YES! Uh, data 1! Save! Now checking data. No data? Now saving? The game has been saved. Continue! Oh, another cutscene. Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah! Yeah, everybody's happy. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! Okay, that last part sounded kind of lame. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. <laughs> well, gee. The general has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that is. I don't think I would ever have been able to guess. So, we're back here. Oh, hey, there's another person here this time. Who are you? Call me Double, the Rookie Hunter. My liege. Liege, really? The Rebel Force has begun its coup. Wait, Colonel, you're jumping to conclusions here. It's not like he can hear you act. Sir, you've been given the order to scramble. Right, I'm leaving right now. Jungle. Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it. Air Force. The Rebel Force ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. Oh, great. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ, which means kill him. Marine base! Repliforce decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard Land Chaser. The abandoned lab, oh, the bio lab. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. Military train. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Repliforce's supply route. Snow base. We've discovered a hidden snow base! Halt production of their new weapon, a giant snowman! I wanted to do the land chaser one again. Because if I do this right, then... And I'm probably going to die. I'm not even going to lie. I'll probably die a lot here. Because I want to get the upgrades. So it's probably going to result in dying. He destroyed the city and escaped to the Jet sea. Stingray. Jet Stingray! I don't even have to do the voices anymore. Someone else is going to do it for me. That's nice. Alright, here we go. I mean, my little land chaser, kind of like uh, what we had in, what's it called, in X2? Remember on the Overdrive Ostrich stage? That was always fun. And the music's kind of catchy too. As I get completely wrecked here. Let's see if I still remember where that thing was. I know it's somewhere on the bottom, that's why I'm hanging back. I know it just says, eh! Yeah, I got it! So we have our first health upgrade right off the bat. It's always nice. No! <laughs> and there's absolutely no checkpoint on this level. It's just do or die. But I already got a health upgrade, so I'm already happy. 
And besides, the game gave me an extra life right off the bat, so it's not like it's a big deal. Oh gosh, I'm pretty sure it's, the same thing's gonna happen with Zero when I do the run with Zero. No! Oh yeah, it's right, it can dash! I'm taking some pretty heavy damage here. Oh wait, that's right, I lose mobility on it when I do that dash. At least if you do it in the air. All right, and that was the first half of the stage. Now there's also a sub tank on this level, which is probably going to be the more annoying thing to get, because you have to get it down just right. And also, we'll get to see Jet Stingray throughout the level, and then I'm going to slice him like that. And he's going to go away. I don't want to deal with him. Man, this music. I like how the background is just one still image, but it's still infinitely better than what we had on the Super Nintendo. Though to be fair, the Super Nintendo did a pretty awesome job of uh, rendering some levels. Oh no you don't! Slice! Alright, I think the part that I'm looking for is coming up ahead. It's here, and I do this. I got it! Yeah! JUMP! YOU DIDN'T JUMP! So that's two lives, but hey, you know what? I got a sub tank. And I got my heart container, so I'm good, and I'm happy, so I don't really mind. BAM! And then we'll get rid of him. The level's otherwise pretty much cakewalk. It's pretty hard to die on this level, otherwise. You have to like be careless and not be paying attention to what you're doing. If you hang out back for the most part, you should be fine. But who wants to hang back riding a MOTORCYCLE?! Robot fighting on motorcycles. Get the reference, get it? Okay. No, nobody gets the reference, I'm sure. So, we're almost there. I'm not gonna do it this time, because I already got what I wanted. Yeah! And then we have this. Does this charge up the... Oh, it does give us a little bit of energy. Alright, so, off to the boss fight we go. Oh, that warning is a, a nice touch there. Hey, he pops out of the sand. I'm impressed that you found me. But your search is over. Get ready, Axe. Alright, let's take him out. Oh! So there, here's a nice little trick for taking him out. You can just hang out on the corner, literally on the corner of the level. You just hang up up here and you'll never take damage until he starts doing a, a different strategy. Now wait for him to show up over there, and we'll do the same thing. He's gonna come back this way. He's wiped up. He knows that I can't hurt him. Uh oh. Here's where it starts getting tricky. He starts doing that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's almost dead. Got him! Yeah! That's a quick strategy that you can do to uh, completely annihilate him there. So he's nice. And now we're gonna get a power! And we'll teleport away. So what's our power? You got Ground Hunter! <laughs> you got Ground Hunter! Fires mini stingray drones that race across the ground. Effective against enemies on walls and floors. Push down while the stingray drones are flying to command them to fall. Okay, good to know. Alright, so the mission has been completed and we will save because saving is always nice, right? So, let's save our data. And, uh, bam! The game has been saved properly. So, let us continue, just so we can get back onto the boss select screen. And from here, we will figure out where I will go next time, because the video is just about to come to an end. So, we've moved on to the PlayStation era. Things are going to be so much fun! I cannot wait! So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And if you like the channel overall, go ahead and give me a subscribe, because subscribers are always nice, and you can see when I put out new stuff. So, until the next part, which shouldn't be too long, 
take it easy internet and stay classy.